Now, when we think of research, we tend to always think about research in academia. We always think about our final year research projects or any other research projects that are happening in the university. However, research is done not only in academia. We have research in the industry as well. Now, when it comes to WSO2, we have our own research team and we do research in uh, areas like artificial intelligence, enterprise architectures, performance engineering, and computer systems. So when we do these uh, research projects, there are two main types of projects that we undertake. Uh, we do internal research projects, and this is where WSO2 personnel get together and work on a research project. Then we also collaborate on research projects with university students. Uh, most of the time we get uh, final year research projects from undergraduates. So the research team at WSO2 work with these students on their university research projects. Now in any of these research projects, we usually have the same flow of doing the research. And when we are doing a research like this, we need good public speaking and communication skills. So let me just go through the steps that we follow when doing a research and highlight to you the importance of communication skills. First, when we start a research, we do a literature review. Now, the reason why we do a literature review is to understand the status quo of that area in the world right now. Has any other research team already solved that problem? Or has another research team solved it in one particular way? How is my way of solving this problem different to the existing methods? So we need to understand what's going on in the research world. And to do that, we need to have the skill to read and understand what the current status quo is from research papers. So reading is a communication skill that you need. But sometimes just by reading a research paper, you may not be able to understand the complete story. At times, when you keep reading the research paper, you may have more questions. In such a situation, you need to write to these authors to get some more information from them. Because at the end of the day, a research paper is like a seven to 10 page document. You can't summarize everything over there. So if you need more details, you can certainly uh, write to these authors and get information from them. Now, let's say you start your research project. When you're doing a research project, you will definitely come up with so many problems. You will have bad days where you're stuck doing something, or you may have good days where you find an innovative way to solve the problem that you're having. Now, when you're doing this, you need to discuss these problems with your peers. Now, let's say we are doing a research project in the research team at WSO2. We have team meetings where we briefly talk about what we do uh, on a particular day. If we are doing a research project, we need to update the research team about the problems that we are facing, about the uh, things that we found to solve those problems and so on. Sometimes uh, we may have separate lengthy discussions uh, regarding the research project that we are working on. So when we have these meetings, we have to present our problems or our solutions because at the end of the day, as a researcher, all about the research is in your head. But if you don't communicate it to the team properly, the team will not be able to help you. So if you are to work collectively in a team, you need to communicate with the other team members. Now, when you're doing a research project, you gather a lot of knowledge and you contribute back to the field. So you can write some articles so that it will help others in the future as well. Uh, for example, there is the WSO2 research blog. There are Medium blogs, LinkedIn blogs, or you could even host a blog on your own personal website. But to write these articles, you need to have the writing skills because it's not someone else who writes these articles. It's the researchers themselves who write them. So you need to have article writing skills. Now, uh, the main outcome of a research project is usually a research paper. At WSO2, when we conduct research projects, we try to write a research paper and submit it to a conference. Now, writing a research paper is not an easy task. You work months on a particular research project. 
you try different methods to solve a problem. You read about this particular area in different research papers. But at the end of the day, you need to summarize everything and put them into a research paper that is about seven to 10 pages long. So you need to communicate to the peers in the research area about your research through this research paper. Now, once we submit a research paper conference, they get accepted. And when they get accepted, we go to these conferences and present them. So in a research conference, it's like a 20 or a 30 minute presentation. Sometimes the people who come into your particular presentation may not have read your paper at all. When they go through the day's proceedings, if they find the topic of your research uh, interesting to them, they may come and sit down and listen to you. So everything that you did, you have to explain to your audience through your presentation. So to do that, you need to have good public speaking skills. And at the end of a presentation, uh, there is a Q&A session. So you need to be able to have an impromptu discussion with other researchers and answer their questions. So these are communication skills that you need. And one of the main differences that I see in an industrial research project is that after completing the research project, we try to implement the findings into our own products. We have done them for WSO2 products and we will continue to do that. So when you try to integrate your research outcomes into a product, you may need to uh, discuss with other teams as well. See, research team is one particular team. Then there are product teams as well. So if you want to integrate your findings into a particular product, you need to have discussions with these product teams. It may be through email, it may be through physical discussions, online meetings, and so on. And if you are actually trying to implement it, you may have code reviews, you may have architectural reviews. So all those things need communication skills, especially public speaking skills. So as I mentioned earlier, a research project takes a long time. People other than yourself will understand your research project only if you communicate it properly. Now, let's say you do a final year research project in the university. When it comes to your final presentation, some of these examiners might not have been in your previous presentations. They might not have read your thesis before coming uh, to this uh, presentation. So it is up to you to explain to them what you did as part of your research. Then only they will understand the value of what you did. So it all depends on how you put what's in your head out there to your audience. So to summarize, a researcher is not someone that is surrounded by research papers, handwritten notes, and works alone in a corner. No, that's not possible. Even if you're conducting a research project by yourself, you have to communicate with your supervisors, or you may have to get someone's help when you're stuck. So a researcher cannot work alone. So if a researcher cannot work alone, that means you need to communicate with your peers. And when you have to do that, your public speaking skills, your communication skills, they are vital. This is important as an undergraduate as well, because uh, we, you will be doing a research project in your final year. So for that, you need these communication skills. This is especially important if you're planning to pursue higher education or if you want to pursue a research career. You need to improve your personal uh, communication skills because without that, you will not be able to move forward as a researcher. 